Hi guys, this is gsnm.com and I'm here with the unboxing of the Nubia Red Magic 6S Pro. So it's just become available and you can find it on the Nubia website for around 599 euros as the starting price. Once again, Red Magic means it's a gaming phone, it's got a fan and it's got some novelties compared to the previously tested by us Red Magic 6 Pro. This is the 6 S Pro, which is by the way our very first contact with a brand new CPU Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Plus. So basically what this brings as an extra from the regular Snapdragon 888 is an increase in frequency. So it jumps from 2.84 GHz to 2.995 GHz. There are also some changes happening in the touch sampling department and also in the, well, input department there's a new touch area here serving as a gaming button but it's an unboxing so let's go through the box first okay so nubia red magic 6s pro comes alone it doesn't have a regular version and we have here the version with 12 gigs of ram and 128 gigabytes of storage aside from our color we have here there's also one which is transparent and apparently has some bells and whistles for the fan in the box we find the following this is the key used to access the slots, only nano SIMs, there is no micro SD here. This is the quick start guide where you find all your useful information. And this is the case that protects the device and leaves the back available, not only so you can glance at the illumination system from here and the beautiful uh, triangular shaped LED flash, but also for the touch area from here serving for your gaming purposes. Okay, so it's a gaming phone and we have quite a few. Um, over the past few weeks in August, companies have been rushing to launch phones with this new processor, Snapdragon 888 Plus, even though in December we should have the Snapdragon 898. That's a whole different deal. In the box we also have this cable from USB-C to USB-C, which hooks up to a charger which may require an adapter in some parts of Europe. It has an USB-C connector and it's a 30 watt charger, even though the phone itself can do 66 watt charging and the model from China even does uh, 120 watt charging. Okay, so that's pretty much it as far as the box is concerned. Now, now let's talk about the phone. The design feels familiar. I would say it feels like a more toned down version of the Nubia Red Magic 6 Pro. That's my impression I'm getting here. It's still glass at the back, it's still a metal frame and it's still glass at the front side with a screen protector already applied from the factory. Now somehow the phone feels easier to wield this time. The weight has been better distributed and it's less slippery I would say compared to the previous model. It's also a bit lighter, it weighs 215 grams, a few grams lighter than the previous model and measures 9.5 millimeters in thickness. Now, uh, as you can see here, we have vents for the cooling fan, one's here and one is here and this time they made it less noisy apparently with a special metal cover, so we can actually turn it on. Okay, so fast cooling is on and I just place this near my microphone. You should be able to hear it and if you don't it's a good sign for Nubia because they did something nice this is the intelligent regulation setting so you can set the fan to so to say two speeds intelligent regulation and fast cooling depending on what your needs are and I have to say it's a bit quieter than the one from the Nubia Red Magic 6 Pro now aside from that I think we cover the design and I find the device easier to handle uh, believe it or not even with a single hand which is quite a change and uh, I should probably also mention that we have the RGB light here at the back which is customizable. The back is still a bit curved which caused some problems with uh, slipperiness uh, if that's a word on the predecessor and the phone is generally well built that's the vibe I'm getting from it. Now the screen which you're seeing here this one is a bright AMOLED 6.8 inch full hd plus and of course the selling point remains from the nubia red magic 6 series 165 hertz refresh rate and also gorilla glass protection the touch sampling rate is quite high here um, as far as i know should be 720 hertz which is huge and uh, that happens with multiple fingers touching the screen 720 hertz touch sampling it's a double the amount achieved on the 6 pro now if you go inside the phone 
I'm always tempted to swipe up for a app drawer. Inside the phone, you can find a brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Plus with uh, the company of 12 gigs of RAM, LPDDR5, 128 gigabytes of storage, UFS 3.1, basically the best of the best, and the color hues in which the device is available in are Eclipse Black, Transparent, and White. Now, as far as the battery is concerned, people are probably wondering what kind of a battery we have here to support such a large refresh rate. 5050 mAh, it charges as I mentioned before 66 watts, but we only have a 30 watt charger. Now on the connectivity front, uh, you cannot live without 5G nowadays and also Wi-Fi uh, is Wi-Fi 6E, it goes on paper up to 7 GB or something like that, of course in ideal conditions. There is Bluetooth 5.2, GPS dual band, NFC and USB-C 3.0. Keep in mind that this port here actually outputs video signal as well. Uh, it serves as a display port so you can output your gaming to a monitor, so that's nice. NFC for payments and for your multimedia needs we have speakers, so there's this one here and also this one at the top which is also serving as the earpiece and also for the musical needs there's an audio jack here. Okay, so getting back to the device. Aside from the speakers, uh, for security, right now I am using the face unlock, which is very fast. But if I were to cover the camera here, you would be able to see the fingerprint scanner. And it's a new generation one. It actually serves your fingerprint authentication at around 100 hertz. And it detects your heart rate, making security more uh well, secure, so to say. Now, aside from that, you're probably wondering if it's able to also detect your pulse in a medical or fitness manner, but uh, actually, um, there is no such feature. It's just for the sake of improved protection. That's what you're getting here. Who knows? Maybe with a workaround, we would be able to take our pulse with this fingerprint and pulse scanner. If you go all around the phone, you can see the usual, the vent here, the volume buttons, this red magic button which puts you in the red magic designated area, the gaming area, you can see the games you played recently, and we have quite a few settings here to play with, uh, here you have the red magic player, you got your options here, quite a few of them, uh, not all of them have been translated and I'm going to have to get around them and uh, turn them to English. So the phone has just launched, so there are a few tweaks here and there to perform in order to be able to operate this. So basically you can set profiles for your games from here and also connect to various accessories. And once you're in a game, you should be able to pull a side tray with more options. Now, camera-wise, once again, Nubia doesn't use a punch hole or a notch. They have here the front 8 megapixel camera and they basically kept the whole setup from the predecessor. We have a triple camera here with a 64 megapixel main shooter, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro and a triangular LED flash. Films in 8K and I'm willing to bet, not my life, but my lives in games that it has those large amount of camera family options. Yes, indeed it has quite a few camera family options. And I'm also curious about this. Uh, well, this time they solved it. This time you can go to the ultra wide camera from the photo app. On the predecessor, you had to go to the pro app to enter the uh, ultra wide camera, which is a bit of a bummer. Now, aside from that, we also have a special cooling system here. It's Ice Cooling 7.0. It stores heat and releases it slowly after your gaming. 20,000 RPM uh, fan here. And I promise to show you that special area. Well, let's actually activate this and then we can go to the game we have here the two gaming triggers one here and one here and the extra one here in this area it's particularly useful in shooter games so you can set it for a reload button for example i triggered this game because i wanted to show the side menu which is this one here there are some profiles you can set it to balance rise beyond and infinite which really turns up the power by quite a margin as you can see, the frequency has increased for the CPU and GPU. We also have other options like the refresh rate, turbo fan, recording, do not disturb, lock touch, and even controller settings. So far, this is an unboxing and first impressions. We have a lot to get accustomed to here, especially after having played with the regular Nubia Red Magic 6 Pro for a while now. There are some interesting innovations here, and I look forward particularly to seeing 
just how nice that extra touch sampling rate is. And if you want your device to be more cool looking, uh, you should be able to go here, light strip setting, and you can set it to uh, various symbols, steady lighting up, for example. Okay, and other customization options, scintillation, you can select it to green, probably, hopefully. Or maybe this one. Competitive atmosphere LED, notification, you can also change colors from here. Uh, you can select the color and also um, the way it strobes or it remains set. So we're still getting accustomed to the device, as I mentioned before, and it probably turns that color in a special setting, like for example when you're gaming. Yeah, let me try that out and see if it changes or not. Otherwise, we really have to learn more about it. Nope, still red. Okay, so... We do have some learning to and we'll be back with more info. So far I would like to mention that uh, it's running on Android 11 and uh, aside from that it has a special UI applied on top of it. Red Magic, uh, I'm not sure if it's Red Magic 4.0 or 4.5. It's 4.5, so a newer version compared to the Red Magic 6 Pro before it. Okay, so we'll be back with a full review pretty soon. This has been the first contact. I find it easier to wield. I love the extra button from the backside and a more silent fan. That's nice. And also they saw that thing in the camera interface. Nubia is really listening to its users. And once again, the starting price for Europe is 599 euros. Bye-bye.